how's that? How's my sound? Is my sound not working? Hold on a second. <clears throat> Forgive me, guys. I'm an amateur at this. Uh, so please, please, please. Hi. How about now? Can you hear me now? Hello, Anika. Hello, hello, hello. I don't think... Hello, 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 hello. Oh, okay. Awesome. Sorry, it was, wasn't coming through on my end, so I wasn't sure. So, uh, awesome, 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 awesome. All right, well, let me get back to over here. So, yeah, I am Eric Schwartz, uh, the Mighty Meeple, in case any of you don't, don't know me. Uh, Anika, you know me. Uh, Anika is my sister, um, and so let's go over here to the table. So uh, I graduated from college. I went back to college um, to learn a degree that was applicable to uh, where I was working, and I recently graduated, even amidst all of the coronavirus stuff. Woo -woo. And uh, to celebrate, I decided to start painting uh, miniatures. I, I'm really big into board games. Um, I've always been interested in, to, in doing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. 
um, and other role, uh, tabletop playing games. I know uh, my sister has beaten me um, in that endeavor. She she has already um, joined in three uh, games like that and has has her own characters. Uh, isn't that right, Anika? Um, oh, excuse me. And uh, but now that I'm done with school, I have a lot more free time, and so I've started. Um, I've started in that that joy of painting, as uh, Bob Ross would say. Let's uh, let's let's zoom in a little bit here. Forgive me. I know this. You know my my controls. I'm still learning all the controls on this, but this is what I've been painting. Uh, I've only paint, painted a couple sessions so far. Um, this is a young red dragon uh, by uh, this is from the official D and D line. Um, from the Wiz Kids miniatures. Uh, and I started painting this a couple weeks ago. Um, started off all red, and then I changed this underside here, the wings, uh, to a bone color, because uh, I wanted to try something different. The uh, the guides that I've I've seen have the entire wing red, but I just wanted to try something different, even though I'm new, and it may completely fail, uh, because I have never painted before in my life, um, except until this model. So... Um, What I may what I may try may not work in, at all, um, but we're going to try it nonetheless. So let me uh, hold on a second. Let me get my computer here situated so I can see everybody that's chatting and everybody that's here, so that I can answer any questions that anyone might have. Uh, don't know how well I can answer those questions, but I will strive to answer them nonetheless. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let me readjust my screen here. Forgive me. I'm still learning all this, all this stuff on how to uh, have good video, good visuals, and good video, and all that sort of stuff. So it's is a learning process for me. So please, please be patient with me, um, because. I am, hello Purple Candle, oh thank you Anika, thank you, um, but uh, yeah, this is all, all new to me, and um, I am really excited to, to do this, I, I am also excited to, to learn how to, how to stream, because I'd, I'd like to uh, stream more board games, um, I eventually would like to uh, start playing D&D &D and stream that as well, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, for those that don't know what D&D &D is, um, and I've got to learn all this stuff somehow, <laughs> and I am just—I decided to learn on the fly. Uh, I don't know if that's the best way, but that's what I'm doing. So, uh, but if anybody has ever painted out there, please let me know. Uh, I would love to hear your about your um, experiences, uh, your trials, your uh, your joys. Um, this is something uh, from the first day that I did this, which was two weeks ago. I'm, I'm already hooked. I, I love this, and uh, I don't. I think I'm. I think I've got a hobby that is going to be with me for the rest of my life. Let's see. Let's get this. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Well, I will unplug my mouse here soon, and um, I've got a little fan here. This is something that I learned that as I was painting, uh, things, at least in my area of the country, is very humid around here. So it was not, um, my paint was not drying quickly. I recently got this. Um, ooh, let's see. Uh, I, there we go. How's that? I know the glare is bad. I've, I've got, I've, Got to learn the lighting on this. Um, there we go. 
So I uh, recently got these uh, paint brushes. So these are uh, going to be my fine set. And then I also got uh, this cheap set of brushes that um, I got off of Amazon. That's just kind of going to be for slapping my paint on. And these are going to be for like my details. Um, and uh, once I start getting into the details of, my, of like really trying to make this thing look good and pop and all the little uh, fine fine details, because let me tell you what, uh, let's see if we can get this in here. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen these these WizKid miniatures, but it has a lot of details, and I know the camera is not doing it justice. Um, I know my lighting is not that great. Uh, for the camera, um, baby steps. I will get lighting soon um, that will uh, be better for these uh, painting type streams. But until then, um, I'm glad you could join me. And so we are going to start get my little palettes here that I've been using. And so what I think I am going to do here is let's see. That's not in the way. Let's see. Is that a good spot? That's good for both me comfortably and let's uh let's adjust this on the camera. Let's see. Gives me a little more area to play with on this camera here. Let's see. Let's let's uh, see if we can zoom in a little bit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be painting about right here. So yeah, oh yeah, that's 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 good. That's in a good spot on the camera, I think. So, um, so what am I going to do? What what am I going to do with this? So I think I started off when painting this. Where is my? So so far. I started off, so this red right here is a vampire red, and still really low. Okay, let me see. Um, let me try moving my mic up. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Hmm. Try moving that volume up a little bit. Is that, is that better, Anika? Purple Panda? Okay, so it looks like I just need to adjust my mic. Okay, cool. All right, let's, uh, let's bring some of this light back this way. All right. So, let's see. We are going to start off with I think uh, for this next stage, I've, I've watched a couple of videos of not this dragon, but something similar. And so I am going to, I believe, I want to go with this uh, this pure red. Um, I'm using uh, Army Painter uh, War Paints. Um, there are many different paints that you can get. There's Citadel, I've heard of, uh, Reaper, Reaper Paints. Uh, hello, Dr. Dr. Fish. Hi, Dr. Fish. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the Mighty Meeple. I am painting, actually learning to paint. So if you're coming here to, to learn some great techniques, um, well, uh, uh, you, can, you can tell me where I can go to learn some great techniques because this is the first ever um, thing that I have painted, ever. And... I am uh, having a blast. This is a, a brand new hobby of mine, and I am already hooked. I know this is going to be a hobby for the rest of my life, and so I am uh, going to get some more layers on this on this dragon tonight. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, um, and uh, I'll do my best to answer. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. 
I'm glad you're here. Um, let me... Okay, sure, sure. All right, let's see. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so uh, like I said, I am using... Um, I'm going to start off using... Where did I go with that pure... Yeah, I'm going to start off with using tonight uh, this pure red. Shake this up. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I I um I'm very familiar with uh, Purple Panda. I'm I'm uh, one. I'm her sister. Uh, no, she is my sister. What am I saying? She is my sister. I'm her brother. Uh, <laughs> but um. And uh, I do follow uh, her on Twitch. She has a great uh, ASMR, and um, and uh, I'm not just saying that because because I'm her brother, but she does a very very good job, and I enjoy listening to it um, on a regular basis. So, um, all right, let's see what do we got here. Got a little. Oh. <sighs> View of my armpit there. I got uh, some stray hairs on my my brush, so I'm going to trim it off here a little bit. Okay, and let's get some let's get some water here in this paint. Okay, cool. Have you ever have you ever painted yourself, uh, Doctor Fish? So let's see. Yeah. So I'm what I'm what I'm going to do here. That may have been a little too much water. So what I'm what I'm going to do here. I've I've started off. Uh, okay. Uh, that's and that's no problem, uh, Doctor Fish. You, you know, it's it's uh, like I said, brand new hobby for me. Um, I encourage it, uh, especially if you enjoy things like. Um, uh, tabletop uh, games like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, or what's the one, uh, Anika, you like to play? You you play uh, Starfinder, don't you? Um, uh, but uh, it's something that I intend to get into at some point. Uh, so I will probably use this in a uh, Dungeons and Dragons eventually. Um, I have yet to play. I've never played anything um, as far as uh, role-playing games. I, I've, pl I've played uh, tons of board games. Um, got a little bit too much, too much paint on here. Um, I've played plenty of board games. Have not yet had a chance to play any uh, role-playing games myself. But I do intend to play some Dungeons and Dragons at some point. I figure that's a good uh, jumping off place, and that's uh, just kind of the genre that that interests me. Um, and so, yeah, I uh, I'll probably use that in in that type of game. Let's see, Let's get some paint on there. Uh, get a water brush for here for some mistakes. There we go. Wipe some of that off. Yeah, this is something I learned uh, watching Rob Orn. I, I got a little bit over. Um, I uh, went a little over the line with my with my paint here, and apparently you can just take a little bit of at least some of these acrylic paints are are water based, so you can just take uh, some water and just hit it with just straight up water, and that'll thin it out tremendously enough to where you can wipe it off. So if you're ever wondering, um, ever have any issues like that, and if you're trying to paint, you can. Use a little, little bit of water, a little bit of water, and that'll help uh, clean clean up your mistakes. 
So, but yeah, so, um, and if you're wondering why I actually have this, uh, if I've never played before, um, I do follow a lot of streams online, um, like on here on Twitch, uh, where they uh, play. Um, the first uh, the first group that I ever came across, this was something while I was at work. I was fortunate um, in where I work. I kind of, uh, the area that I work, I'm able to kind of listen. Um, I can't really watch things, but I can listen to things while I work. And uh, so I, you know, I it's something that I've I was interested in. Dungeons and Dragons was something I was always interested in, and so uh, I don't know how I came across. I think I first heard of a show called Harmon Quest. Oh, I'm doing uh, very good tonight, Anika. How are you? Um, a show called Harmon Quest is where basically a group of people they would uh, come together and they play Dungeons and Dragons, and I think it was scripted. Um, a lot of it was scripted. Some of it was, uh, you know, off the cuff. But uh, a lot of it was scripted. But they would take the uh, the gameplay and turn it into uh, a cartoon. Uh, it was called Harmon Quest, and that got me thinking. He said, "I wonder if there's any other groups out there that play." And well, sure enough, uh, sure enough, there are plenty of groups out there that play Dungeons and Dragons, uh, both on YouTube and um, as well as on Twitch, and so I got searching around. I found a group called Quest and Chaos, uh, an amazing, amazing group. They're on Twitch. They stream every Monday and Tuesday night. Uh, currently, they're streaming. Um, they they have to do. Uh, they're all from they're all from home, and so they stream on camera, something like Zoom. Um, and. Uh, but normally, uh, when we're not in the in the midst of quarantines and such like that, they they all gather in a studio. They play. Uh, they got uh, multiple campaigns going with uh, multiple uh, dungeon masters uh, within their group. Uh, my favorites are Monday and Tuesday nights. Uh, they play. They play uh, in on Monday nights. They play in a world. Uh, it's called Natural One. Is the name of the show, and they it's a homebrew world. Um, and that one, oh gosh, who is the DM? I'm I'm now that I'm talking about it, uh, I am a brain farting on who the DM is. Um, Oh goodness! Well, I'll remember it eventually. But uh, that's called, that's natural one. And then on Tuesdays they play uh, in um, a world. They started off playing uh, Dragon Heist, which is a a uh, campaign that's been developed by Dungeons and Dragons to help people along who's who's not able to create scenarios completely from scratch. But they you know so they put them out. And uh, so that you, so that those that aren't able to, or maybe not even have the time to be that creative, they can they can just pick up the book and they have a world already developed for them. Um, and so they play, started off playing that, and they still kind of pull from from different books and manuals, but it's kind of gotten a little bit away from um, a prescribed world, and it's kind of getting a little mix of homebrew. Um, which is basically stuff that they've created, along with um, stuff out of uh, campaign books. And that is one of my favorite shows to watch, is uh, uh, Quest and Chaos. And from there, I uh, learned about a show called Critical Role. Now, that's the sh that if there's any Dungeons & Dragons show on Twitch or YouTube that people know about, it's usually Critical Role. Um, that is a group of, uh, well, as, uh, as the, the, the head dungeon master, Matt Mercer, would say, a group of no nerdy-ass voice actors <laughs> that um, they get together and play Dungeons & Dragons. So they're voice actors and actors that, um, that know each other through the, through the industry. Uh, they came together one day um, for somebody's birthday and played Dungeons & Dragons. And... Um, 
it was just kind of a home campaign that they played for two years, and then they had their friend, Felicia Day, who I believe is streaming right now as well. Uh, she's playing playing some video games. Um, invited invited them to say, hey, you know, why don't you uh, take that game and, and play it online for people to watch? And they're like, what? Seriously? People would actually want to watch that? And she's like, yeah, I think so. And it's become a big hit. Now, that is an amazing show. I do not miss it. I highly encourage everybody uh, to go watch that show um, if uh, if you're interested in good storytelling, um, impromptu storytelling, as well as you know some 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 of it is, is scripted. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, it is it is a scripted storytelling that is uh, driven by um, impromptu acting, and it is an amazing show. Um, highly encourage. You to check it out. They have uh, their first campaign was completed a couple years ago, and it was something like a hundred. and th And they started this this show in the middle um, of in the middle of the campaign that they were playing at home. And um, so let's see, that's kind of what I'm doing here. I kind of, by the way. Um, as a as a side, what what I'm doing here now is I'm trying to I want to kind of make a I'm trying to make this I kind of want to make this these wings kind of like a transparent red look, um, kind of like you know the skin. So the red coming from the from the back side is coming through the skin of this front side, and so I'm kind of I'm just kind of playing around, you know. And if it doesn't look good, I can just go back over it with with red and just and just be done with it. Um, but this is what what I'm trying to do is kind of uh, do this, and then I'm just gonna now that I kind of have just very little paint on my brush. Maybe even maybe even take a dry brush here. And so let's 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 brush that all all together and yeah you know it doesn't look great but you know it's like I said this is my first time first time doing this it doesn't look too bad it, I just maybe need to play around with it um, maybe get a little more water a little more paint let's get that let's get that brush really really dry there. Trying to give these wings just kind of like a transparent kind of like that red from the back side is kind of bleeding through to the front, but it's not the the, the this side of the of the wing is not actually red itself. It's just that color that's bleeding through. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. So let's uh yeah ooh 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 oh man brushes all over the place. See, yeah, it's this kind of, yeah, it's kind of, kind of working. It's not bad, not bad. Uh, what, what do y'all think out there? I know it doesn't look exactly the same on camera as it does live, but I think y'all can get an idea of what I'm going for here. And this is just kind of stuff I've seen people doing on YouTube and you know, I don't know if this technique is really gonna let's take this brush this brush is dry has no paint on it kind of use it to spread it around well, well thank you MJ for those that don't know I also know who MJ is It's not bad. It's not bad. Not a hundred percent what I was trying to go for, but it's pretty close. I think maybe I, I can work with that. I think I can make take some more of this bone this uh, bone color and kind of dry brush on top of it um, later once this dries up. And uh, I, I think that's good. I think that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with this side as well. Um, let's see if we can get some similar results here. So, uh, where was I though? 
Uh, a purple dragon? Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I may do a purple dragon. Actually, I, I already have two other dragons. Um, this is the red dragon. I also have a green dragon and a uh, and a black dragon. But, you know, truthfully, they don't have to be green or black. This one doesn't didn't have to be red. I just kind of followed the red um, because... Again, never painted before, so I needed to start start somewhere uh, as far as uh, a guide. So I kind of started some, with you know someone else's tutorials, and I've gone from there. And even even already now, I'm I'm kind of coming away from that and trying to do my own thing. Um, and, uh, have to see if we can make that work. Okay, let's dry that off a little bit. And let's uh, let's try to spread some of that around. Yeah, let's see, not not quite dark enough. Let's uh, yeah, it's not exactly the same as the last side here. I don't want these cross veins is, uh, is, is kind of the look that I want on these. But, uh, so yeah, Critical Role. Critical Role um, is a, a game that I highly encourage anybody to, to listen to. It's a show of voice actors who are professional voice actors. Um, many of them play in shows that, uh, um, like, uh, my goodness, uh, Attack on Titan, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Batman series. Um, let's see. Oh, well, uh, good night, Dr. Feast. Jay, thanks for joining us uh, here for a little bit. Uh, definitely go get some sleep. It is 1.30 here as well. I am just on the third shift schedule, so um, on my weekends off, I'm going to utilize some of that for painting and hobbies. But uh, you go get yourself some good sleep. Thank you for joining us, even for that little bit of time. But um, yeah, if, uh, if you haven't listened to Critical Role, I highly, highly suggest it. Um, they do some great storytelling. Um, they Their first campaign was something like 120 episodes. And this, mind you, was was beginning from the middle of their campaign that they had already started at home and um, was encouraged by a friend to come on to her uh, website uh, uh, and streaming channel about all things geeky. Uh, it was called Geek and Sundry. And they started uh, playing their game online. And... Uh, it, man, it, it kicked off big and, um, it was like 120 episodes in their first campaign. Um, each episode is like, you know, average four hours long. So there's lots of listening content though, but I mean, just the storytelling and the character development and the, and the passion that they, that they, uh, put into it was just absolutely riveting. I mean, to me, more entertaining than, than than most movies out there that you can that you can go see, and uh, you know all of it impromptu. I mean, it, they're they're making these decisions on the fly, and some of it I'm, I'm sure they've thought about and scripted out. But um, you know, I mean, the decisions they make and, and how how they come about. You know, I mean, sometimes it doesn't work out the way they plan because of the dice roll. Uh, good night, uh, Purple Panda. I realize it's also uh, late for you too. Thanks for joining me, and uh, thanks for hosting me as well. Um, if uh, if you are wake up in the middle of the night and uh, you just can't go to sleep, we'll come back over here. I'm sure I'll still be painting. So you yeah, have a good night. Love you. So let's see. Dash of that red there. On this, on this brush, we're going to do a little bit of 
color didn't spread around quite what I was hoping for, so a little, a little more dry brush in here. All right. Yeah, I like, I like, uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, you're not going to sleep yet. Okay. Well, I know it's late for you too. Um, but yes, good night to you, Dr. Fish. I'm glad, I'm glad to still have you around then, Purple Panda. Um, uh, there we go. That's not too bad. I think that's a good start. We can we can definitely work with that there. So, so that's the like the back side of the wing, and then the underside, which is not red, kind of more flesh colored, but that red from the back side is bleeding through because he's got he's got his wings stretched out. You know. All right, let's uh, let's wash this brush here. Let's get all that. All right. So, uh, have uh, do you have dragons in Star Fan Starfinder? Uh, uh, Purple Panda, Anika. Um, do you have uh, other dragons in Starfinder, or are there other types of beasts and, and monsters that you encounter? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you have you fought in any dragons yourself? Or have you have you not done that? Let's get a little more of this red on the palette. And we'll get one of my finer brushes here, and we're gonna more red there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after these uh, his um, what is that crown or frill along the back. Um, I'm kind of try to do the same thing. So I'm gonna try to uh, kind of. Get each one of these individual kind of spines um, a little, uh, a little more a stronger color of that red, and let the kind of flesh tones in the middle stand out. And then for this, I'm going to try and I'm going to be using my my wife's. Uh, She's got this wonderful um, sewing light, and so I, I have uh, commandeered it every now and then when I'm painting, especially when I want to do the details. And so yeah, I'm just going to try to try to hit this. Uh, this uh, what do you what would you call it on a dragon? I know on a on a like a horse you would call it a mane. I guess a uh, you know the mane of the dragon. So yeah, I'm gonna hit each one of these little spines here. Because to me that's kind of where the 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 bone would be thicker, and it's not really skin, but kind of there's a, a bony section. Right there in my mind. And to me, the color would be more striking on that on that portion, and then in between is kind of more skin, and so you're going to have that more translucent red look with these. And that's that's kind of the look I, I want to go for. I don't know, you know, it's like I said, I've I've never painted before. It may uh, may look terrible. But it'll be mine. And I'm sure I'm not the first person who has thought who has thought of this. But that's kind of the nice thing about about painting, painting your own miniatures, is that you can make it look however you want. So uh, I could make it, I could make it a purple dragon if I wanted to. Um, and I may do that. I may do that at some point. It, I don't think I don't think uh, in Official D and D um, literature. I don't think there is a purple dragon, but that's the nice thing about role playing games is, is because there hasn't been one yet. 
in the number can't be one. And so, yeah, I'll, I could make me a purple dragon. What would his name be, though? Huh? <laughs> The magic dragon lives by the sea. All right, all right, I'll stop. I won't torture you all with my jokes. Yeah, that would be awesome. What, what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, abilities or, or powers do you think a purple dragon would have? Uh, there, Anika. Um, because a red dragon, you know, typically it's fire breathing. This is what you imagine with, uh, with the red dragon. Blue dragons, usually lightning or ice. Uh, green dragons are kind of acid or poison. Uh, what do you think a purple dragon? What do you think a purple dragon would be? Maybe it could be uh, shadows and darkness or something. Or uh, or you could keep on going with that Puff the Magic Dragon theme and, and um, maybe she could uh, send out forth a, a cloudy haze that um, What's this? Hallucinogenic. There's there's lots of uh, leadership qualities. Purple is... Oh, it is the color of royalty. Yes, it is. It is. Um, that is that is very true. Uh, it could be like a, a leader of dragons. So maybe... Because um, I know in D&D &D lore, um, the uh, chromatic dragons, which are the dragons of uh, like of colors, so like the blues, the greens, the reds, uh, those are typically like uh, uh, the evil dragons. And uh, so it could be like maybe um, the royalty of kind of, 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 you know, the general just evil wild dragons. They're usually like the wild dragons. And, uh, you know, they're also typically, um, they're typically loners. Like they, they don't, they don't uh, move in groups. They, um, in, in fact, they're even when they come across other dragons, they're they're aggressive to each other, um, very territorial and such. And so you can maybe have like the you know uh, the purple dragon is like the unifying dragon of the group, or. Maybe, uh, it, but you know, also in the D and D lore, um, the metallic dragons are usually the the good dragons, the protector of man, protectors of mankind. They've given themselves to uh, uh, good pursuits and and diplomatic and, and and protection and things that are generally considered civilized and good instead of wild and um, and full of greed and rage. And so maybe the purple dragon, even though it is a chromatic color, could be like the royal, royal chromatic that uh, is stands amongst uh, the metallic dragons. Yeah, that's something, you know. And that, that's that's the nice thing. That's the cool thing about uh, RPGs and D and D. Wouldn't you agree, Anika, that that you can just make, uh, you know, if if you think it sounds good? Well, then make it. Do it. That's what. That's what's so enticing about it. And why I'm really excited to to uh, get into it here. Um, is that you know? You're only limited by your imagination. So, what do you think? Kind of get the idea of what I'm I'm going for here. The uh, 
kind of hitting all these little kind of the bones within this uh, this this frill and this mane uh, along his back and down his tail. And I'll probably hit it with. Um, and I've already kind of got a decent look of what I was going for on here because I started off with red, and what I did is I dry brushed with um, with a, a bone color on top of that red. And so I kind of got that translucent look that I'm already looking for. But in order to blend the red of these spines now back in with that, I may, may hit it with another light, light, like super duper light coat of dry brushing. Yes, yeah, some some brown or black accents, uh, and I, I do intend to do that. I do have some um, what's called washes, and uh, that'll really bring out some browns and some, but that'll also kind of get down into the the crevices, and um, kind of bring out the shadows and the details of the miniature, uh, things that that don't don't stand out very well right now. Those washes will help bring those those out. Um, uh, very well, as well as kind of giving it that tone and texture uh, that you, that you're talking about. And so, but I kind of want to get some some the base colors and what I'm going for first before I hit that, and then start building upon it. So actually, um, I would say probably after this, what I do here, I'll probably touch up some like the nails and the teeth. Um, with this uh, uh, skeletal bone color, and then hit it with the wash and see what it looks like from there. But yes, I agree. I do agree, Anika, that the uh, uh, some brown and, and black would definitely um, do well to accent. Yeah, but uh, yeah, royal purple royal dragon. That that is a good thought. I'll tell you one thing I've also thought about. I've always I thought this would be uh, absolutely great. Um, you know, that's uh, you can you can build as as somebody who who I I aspire to be a dungeon master, and so I'd actually be creating you know uh, the NPCs and. And the people that uh, that my players would encounter. And one thing I've always, you know, you can draw inspiration from lots of things that is that's already out there. Um, in fact, there's probably very few characters or stories that haven't been already been told in some form or fashion. And it's just, you know, you can take that and adapt it and get inspiration from lots of things. One thing I've always thought about is um, it'd be great to come across a little village. Little village in a wood. You know, it doesn't have to be a, a big wood. It's a small wood. Probably about 100 acres or so. Um, but a little village inside the wood. Very small village. There's just a few, few people that live there. And they live very good in har you know, good harmony together. But uh, there'd be... There'd be a gardener there. He's very uptight. Very kind of bossing and demanding, and always thinks that, you know that he knows what he's talking about. Uh, probably a little older character. Um, don't know the name yet, but there's one one character I thought about. Uh, it would be uh, Donald Key, but everybody calls him Ori. Um, he'd be like a he'd be like a Very, he's very doesn't think very much of himself. He's kind of a, a very uh, pessimistic. You know, he's not always like you know rrr, rrr, pessimistic, but he's always kind of like you know, well, I guess I'll do this, but why should I bother? You know, yeah, I'll put up a roof on my house, but why bother? It'll probably leak anyway. And uh, well. 
he's basically Eeyore. Or E Eeyore Donald Key. First name is Donald. Short shorten that to Don Key. Don Key. <laughs> I mean, you can get inspiration from everywhere. And so basically all the characters within this little village inside the 100 Acre Woods are basically all the characters from Winnie the Pooh. I just think that, you know, the, the, I started off thinking about that with, uh, with Eeyore. What if he turned Eeyore into a, into a barbarian character in just his, the way that he would act and react to people around him and just in life in general. And then just kind of start developing from there. And I, I would really like to, to do that. some at some point, just like a little side area. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that'd be, I, mean, I think that'd just be hilarious. It's just, you know, uh, you can, it, you know, it wouldn't be, you know, a hundred percent, you know, Winnie the Pooh, um, but it'd be Winnie the Pooh inspired characters. And, um, you know, what would they all be in a Dungeons and Dragons type world? You know, they're maybe barbarians or warriors that are stronger than what they would appear because they, they, the way they act is very unassuming. Um, but they survive in this little wood because they are very strong. Um, not just in, in, in power, you know, physical strength, but also in character, you know, but they, they have their flaws as well, but they, despite their flaws they all live together as friends so how would that you know how would that look how would that look that, i think that would be very fun to explore all right so got all the all those spines Well, thank you. Thank you, Annie, because I, th I think uh, that will be a very fun concept to explore someday. And uh, I've got lots of little ideas um, that I think would be fun to explore. But that's that's kind of one of them that's one of those fun, silly ideas that, that's been playing around in my head. All right. So what are you thinking so far on that? It's not bad. Not bad. Kind of getting that, that look on the underside that I'm wanting. That look down the spines. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to hit. There's a few spots when I was dry brushing. Um, there's a few spots I want to touch up with some red here. And then I'm also going to touch up some like uh, some of the teeth, um, some of this uh, plate armor. Uh, I'm going to touch those up and then let it dry for a little bit, and then we're going to hit it with some wash. And uh, let's see, make, see if we can start making some of these details pop. So we're going to use uh, skeletal bone. Let's see, how's that? Let's shade some of that light there. Oh, too, too much shade, maybe. Too much shade. There we go. Skeletal bone. Skeletal bone. Uh, and we're going to get this on here. Just touch up some of these. Uh, don't need very much paint. Uh, let's see. The dragon is looking. Thank you, thank you, Anika. It is looking good. I I, I agree. Um, and uh, do I have any figurines for tonight? Um, no, probably just tonight. I'm just going to work on on the dragon. I think I would like to before I just start working on like a lot of different figurines at one time I think I want to just get through this one and at least get it to a point I'm sure that I you know I'll forever be you know doing little touch-ups and things on it uh, oh I think this could be better oh I think that could be better but uh, I think I want to get it to a point where I think it could be called done and then I'll start looking at doing um, you know other figurines but I do have I do have lots and lots of figurines from from board games, uh, as well as uh, which MJ, you should know. You uh, you got me a board game for uh, for Christmas that had tons and tons and tons of little figurines um, that I'm going to be painting up. Um, so 
Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It may not seem like much, but just that little tips of the teeth. Um, and I'll show you show you this. Try to show you here. You know, I may be able to get the this magnifying glass up here with, with this camera as well to get a closer view. But look at this little tip. And I know it doesn't show up as well on camera as it does here, but this little little touch of color on these teeth makes a huge difference in what Oh yes, thank you, thank you very much. Um, I, I am enjoying them, and uh, I, I'm starting to get uh, a lot of those games out because, like I said earlier, and you know very well that I'm pretty much done with school. I have a little bit of welding left to do um, when all the quarantines and such started. Um, a lot of my classes went um, to online learning, and they were able to do that. But welding, welding is not something that you can really do online. Um, we did the book portion. We were able to transfer that to online and kind of the classroom lecture portion. Um, but welding is very much a hands-on learning experience. You need to actually get your hands on a welder and do some welding. So um, currently I have an incomplete for that class. And whenever um, the uh, whenever the Quarantine, uh, quarantine rules are kind of loosened up a little bit, and I'm able to go back into my school building. I will finish up the um, the active learning, the you know the hands-on learning part of my welding class. Um, but being done with school, I've been able already to pick up um, quite a few of my games. Have been sitting on my shelf. Uh, that I've been wanting to play, um, and that that is one of them that I'm, that I'm pulling out and learning. And uh, yes, thank you very much for that game. Uh, Third of your way through classes, Ella Nika. I know that it's going to be worth it. I know it's very hard. Um, especially when you are uh, a parent and, and or working full-time. It is very difficult to do, uh, but it is worth it. It is worth it. It's going to be, you're going to be glad that you did it. So keep on, keep on fighting the fight. Uh, keep on pushing through. Um, what am I going to name my dragon? Ah, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't have a name for him yet. Uh, you know, um, I could, uh, you know, he could, uh, he could live in the in the mountains uh, with a crotchety old man, like a kind, like you know, kind of like a country country bumpkin old type that would like that uh, that sits on his on his front porch, um, you know, in in a, in a rocker, and uh, this could be his pet dragon, and that he he calls a uh, old red or something. You know, dragons typically aren't. Uh, aren't pets, but for some reason, these two have created a bond. So maybe not necessarily pets, but, uh, you know, they, they have a mutual appreciation for each other. All right. Let's put him in space. So yeah, I don't, I don't really have a name for him yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stability, having having a career that you know that you can really pursue and really, you know, really dive into is, is going to be nice. I mean, I have I have a decent career 
I don't know if it's one that I could do for a long time. Um, just it's it's a you know, it's hard for it to be random, I guess. I guess where I where I currently am, um, I could do for a while. Uh, but I know it's it's also a base level position. And by this degree that I got, I'm able to get to a skilled position, which would greatly in, increase my pay. And, you know, we could get by on what I'm making, but I know that we can do a lot more um, to help other people uh, in, you know, if, I, if we're making, if I have just a little bit, little bit better income, um, instead of having to dedicate all the income just for, uh, you know, my family and surviving and paying paying off the house paying the house and, and putting food on the table that we can focus on uh, other things um, people that need help people that, that are having a hard time putting food on the table having a hard time keeping the lights on that we can step in we can we can um, are in a position to where we can help people instead of uh, just trying to look out for ourselves so I'm really looking forward to that Herbert. Herbert's a good name. All right. I dub thee Herbert. I'm sure this particular dragon will have uh, many names over the years. Um, Herbert is maybe the good first name. It's, a, it's an unassuming name. It's a, it's a name that you wouldn't expect out of a powerful, uh, powerful being such as a red dragon. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe that could be part of his persona is that he doesn't like his name, and for some reason, you know, the name that's been bestowed upon him, he can't, he can't get rid of because that is, that is, that is him. It's written into his DNA now or something, and uh, kind of, you know, the Johnny Cash, the boy named Sue, type of complex. Um, he hates his name, and he and he's. Uh, hates anybody who points out his name. Um, so, yeah. Um, But uh, hey, Purple Panda, also, uh, apparently Herbert means illustrious warrior. I did not know that. You would, I don't think many people would know that. You would not assume that out of a name like Herbert. At least I wouldn't assume that out of a name like Herbert. I, I would have, I would assume that Herbert meant something like uh, one who collects taxes, <laughs> you know, or one who one who can calculate your finances. But uh, that is that is very cool. That is very cool. That's uh, I did not know that that's what that name meant. So yeah, that that would uh, maybe be a good name, although illustrious warrior. I guess it depends on what what we. Oh oh dear, well. <laughs> but these are cheap. These are cheap brushes. They're not meant to be anything fancy. This is just for slapping on the first coats of paint, and not meant to be fine detailed. They're not super expensive, but. Uh, I guess I guess I know that after this session, that this one brush is done for, <laughs> or maybe a little bit of glue, super glue. That, that should do it. Um, a little too wet there. Illustrious warrior. So I guess it depends on what kind of dragon. You know, what kind of personality want you want this dragon? Because like I said earlier. Um, if you're here, uh, that, you know, the chromatic dragons, the, you know, kind of like the reds, the blues and stuff, they're very egotistical. 
a very, um, uh, you know, they think that they are the most amazing thing the world has ever seen, and therefore everybody should bow down to them and uh, should should quake at their power. And you know, if they want to eat you, then they're in every bit in their rights to do so because. Who's more, who's more great and, and wonderful than, than them? Um, so, I don't know, the, the, I wonder if that's kind of the, the connotation of, of Herbert would be, is, uh, you know, this is illustrious warrior. It kind of, kind of sounds like that that should be kind of like for somebody who's more noble than, than that kind of the, attitude that a, that a dragon would have but uh you could be wrong maybe maybe that's perfect maybe it, it's meant maybe you could, it could be kind of ironic that that's why somebody maybe that's why he was named herbert but yeah Maybe not. Maybe not. And names don't necessarily have to be deep. Um, but, you know, sometimes they can be. I like names. I think that I, I like the, the, the depth that they can be, and as well as just kind of playing around with them. I know, I know a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of names that's where, you know, came from a deep meaning. Um, it came from, you know, a, 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 a play on a specific words within the language that they were developed. You know, maybe meaning noble. Or, you know, I think my name means noble prince or something like that, or noble leader or something like that. Um, you know, what, what, was the, what was the language of, of the time? And so, you know. I know in, in American culture, sometimes names don't have such deep meaning. Uh, a name is just a name. But, uh, you know, names, when they were originally, when a name was originally developed, it was because it had a, some sort of significant meaning. So they can be deep. They, they could just be, they could just be a name. And again. Like that, it could just be a name. Oh yeah, beloved one. Yep, yeah. that is a beautiful meaning and very true. Because, like I said at the beginning of the of the, of the stream, for those who didn't know, uh, Anika, the one who runs the Purple Panda um, over on Twitch, is or here on Twitch, is uh, is my sister. She is very beloved in our family. So it's a very, very fitting name. Yeah, yeah. I can see how that, how that, how that would be helpful. And uh, just so you know, I don't know if I've ever told you this, Nika, but you're not the only one that feels that way. Sometimes. I've had I've had my time. It is sometimes you need those those things that are instilled in your life, such as your name, or friends, or family, or people who love you, to let you know that you are not you're not dis you're not disgusting. You are worthy of your love, and even if you are not worthy of your love of their love, that they still love you. Yes, God is wonderful. God is wonderful. What better example of, of someone who, who loves you despite, you know, despite the fact that you're not worthy? I know I wasn't worthy of his love, and yet he loves me and uh, was patient with me until I realized that you know, I need his help him to change who I was 
changed me from the uh, selfish, prideful man that I was into somebody who uh, cared about others, who cared about uh, who cared about others more than I than I cared about myself. And you know, he loved me even though I wasn't worthy of that love. I realized that. I realized that I needed him, and he was, and allowed him to start changing me. That made me into a man befitting of the love that was already bestowed upon him on me. And the same that he's doing to you, Mika. Almost done here. A little touch ups. So I kind of want to get this, you know, the base coat is some of this dry brushing where I want it. I think this is where I want it. Um, and then I'm going to I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And while I'm letting it dry, I'm going to uh, run upstairs. Get me a drink, use the restroom, all that fun stuff. So we're going to take a little break here. And in a minute, as soon as I finish this little bit. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, touch up a little bit on these coats. Thank you very much, Mika. Now, um, now, Nika, I, I do realize that it is also very late, so uh, I, I do appreciate you here very much, hanging out with me in chat and talking back and forth. But if you also need to go to bed, I completely understand will not be offended whatsoever. Just so you know. All right. So yeah, that's here here's where we are. Here's where we are. Get the wings. Hoping a little bit of dry brushing, maybe a little detail. I'd, I'd like to kind of, uh, it's too, too stark of a contrast. I know it doesn't look too bad in the, in the camera, but, uh, and I know on the table, actually, you know, from that far away, I mean, yeah, if it's sitting on the table. I think it still looks good. It still looks very good, but, uh, we're going to make this really pop here in a minute. Um, we are going to start using some some inks and tones um, to put some washes on this bit on this puppy on Herbert we're gonna put some washes on Herbert uh, but in the meantime um, you you all can hang out here I am going to go get me a drink go use the restroom and I shall be right back now let's see let's see if I can uh, I'm going to try to do something fancy here. Okay. Let's see here. so big either. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
go to here. What's what's a good font? Oh, Anika, you can you can definitely support me. You don't. I'm just saying you don't necessarily need to hang out and chat. Um, but you're more than welcome to uh, to keep uh, keep up on um, on the stream and stay signed in. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's 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 try that. Let's see. More than welcome to lurk. Color. Let's go with a uh, good color. Right there. How's that? And we'll move. We'll move this. This puppy right there. All right. So we'll be right back. In the meantime, everyone can hang out here. Haha, <laughs> thanks. But yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get something something to drink. And go to the bathroom. So uh, let's turn
back here. Let me uh, let me get my mic back in place. Got me some sparkling agua. All right. So next step that we're gonna do here. Next step we're going to do is, I believe we're going to put some wash on here. Really going to make this pop. So we've got two types of wash. We've got some flesh wash and we have some strong tone. So I think. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use a strong tone on all the red, red areas, and then maybe the flesh on like the east side of the wing and then on the other side of the belly. Uh, I don't know. So we're going to find out. So let's, uh, let's get some of this wash here. I think for this, let's... Uh, Go with, we'll go with one of these ones, this brush here. Uh, let's, let's go with that brush. All right. So this wash. Let's see, let's see how it works. Supposedly I can just take this, straight like this, and just Oh yeah, there we go. So let me actually move this out of the way for right now. Don't need that. This wash will get kind of down, deep down into the crevices and pick out all the little details and stuff of this miniature. So we're just gonna get right across like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is really good, looking good. This is a stage that I was kind of excited about. Um, I knew that when you start adding washes, it really makes these uh, details pop, at least in my experience of, well, not my experience, but my experience of watching other other painters. As I said, this is my very, very, very first uh, miniature ever painted, ever, 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 yes, ever, ever, ever. know whenever watching other other youtubers or twitch streamers who are painting um, when they add the the wash it really kind of makes just a lot of details just just 
really talk. Maybe there's been things going on here. Oh, yeah. Look. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Now, I think, uh, I, I don't know about necessarily final. I think it definitely um, really makes it, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I think we could probably definitely say it makes it look final, like ready for the table after the wash. But I think there's a few few more little details. Like, I'd probably do some dry brushing after this um, to kind of uh, bring out certain highlights. Um, uh so kind of where you know the wa how the wash kind of really uh, brings out the details and the recesses and darkens those recesses, the um, the dry brushing on top of that will kind of really bring out kind of the ridges and the highlight and the, and the you know the peaks. So the washes are for the valleys and the and the and the dry brushing is for for the peaks, um, in my opinion, or at least from the the things that I've seen. Shoot, you know, I mean, I may not even be doing the best technique on this this dry brushing. Um, let's get a few peaks out of there. I want to, I want to get that little crevice really nice and dark. Look at that. That's looking really good. That's looking really good. Yeah, this is all really starting to come together now. Alright, let's get another brush in here. So this I'm kinda of gonna do like a wet, I guess would be called a wet brushing technique, so I'm not I'm not dipping it in paint. I'm just kind of moving around what is already on here. So if I got kind of a couple areas where I think there's maybe just a little bit too much wash, so I'm gonna use this other brush, kind of like you know, kind of like right here, right here on this tail. I'm gonna spread that around. what that doesn't look bad on the scales I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna use the same color on I was kind of avoiding this underside and I was going to use a different kind of wash a kind of a flesh wash for that but I kind of like how that looks right there on the little bit of tail that I did I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that use the same same tone all around Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking that. This this is a satisfying stage.
Man. Oh, man. I don't know. That's, that's really starting to pop. Alright, so, I think... The underside beat the devil out of that brush. It's happy little accidents, that's all they are. <laughs> Let my Bob Ross come. All right, so let's uh, clean that brush too. And then I think I think I am still going to try to go for this um, flesh tone wash on the other side of the wings. I may not like it, um, but we'll see. So. Um, you know, I can always go back to the to the dark tone. Right. Yeah, that's that's good. I think that's a good call. Oh yeah. So, like I said, for those who, are, who may just be joining us, I'm adding some wash to this dragon. So this is the first dragon I have ever, 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 ever painted. Uh, first miniature I've ever painted. This is a hobby that caught my attention a while ago, and now I have the time to pursue it. This, this is this is a blast. So this is my my first ever ever painting of anything. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm liking that. So I am going to let that sit there, and let's uh. Uh, let's see. Hope that's not too loud. Oh, let's put the cap back on this. Let's set this set this dragon right here. Go over here, and uh, we can also let's let's let's. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Let's 
Sorry, guys. I'm kind of making some of this stuff up on the fly. So yeah, this is a, uh, I don't know if there's anybody actually out there right now, so I may just be talking to anybody, to nobody, just maybe talking to myself, but yeah, how's, how's, uh, I hope everybody's doing okay out during this time. Oh, I'm talking, I'm still talking to Purple Panda, I figured you'd be asleep by now, Purple Panda, but I'm glad you're still here. Yeah, I'm just uh, taking a break, letting letting my dragon dry a little bit. Got this uh, got this wash on it. Um, I'm gonna try to play around here in a, in a second, and maybe try to get it under magnifying glass um, in in combination with my camera. It may not work. It might, but I'm gonna try it and see if uh, I can make it happen. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a blast. I've 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 uh, been able to play a lot more games than, than what I normally have been able to since I've been done with school. Um, you know, I've uh, started playing a new game with my wife, which uh, some of you may have seen uh, here on Twitch. Uh, we played last week. It's the it's the Hogwarts. It's so it's a Harry Potter card game called Hogwarts Battle. It's extremely fun. Um, it is a deck building game. One thing I really like about it is uh, is that it it is it is made to. I think it's kind of made for uh, all levels. Um, so if my wife and I, we never, we've never played a deck building game, period, before. And so this was our first experience, and the, the instructions were written out in a very simple way, took you step by step exactly what you're doing, in a, and it, it, it kind of, and, and I think Harry Potter is a very, is a perfect kind of avenue for uh, translation for a game like that, too, because, you know, the Harry Potter you read the books as well as, as the or the movies. You know, Harry Potter they start off in year one, and things are you know the the adventures and the struggles they go through are very simple um, compared to what they uh, have to face later on when they're older and in, in book book seven. And uh, this game was very very much uh, in the same way. It, it's very simple for the for that first game when you're learning. The mechanics of deck building and mechanics of card of a game like that, um, and then you know, and then it, it ramps it up a little bit in game two, and then adds more elements in game three, and then as well as game four, and, and we played game five uh, here on 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 Twitch, and uh, and, and it was an absolute fun, and, and uh, you couldn't see it on camera. Um, because we only had one camera for that stream, um, but at the end of the game, Ruth was standing up. She was, you know, nervous and excited, and I was nervous and excited. There's times my heart was pumping, my my I was holding my breath, because uh, it it the game draws you in. It was an absolute fun game, and I, I suggest it to anyone. So we've been playing games like that. We played uh, Hogwarts Battle. Um, May have seen earlier tonight. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Anika. Uh, yeah, um, I might. Uh, said I'm, I'm kind of uh, 
experimenting and learning all this. Um, I've got uh, this camera um, right here. Hello. Uh, this is a, a new camera that I got uh, for Christmas. Um, and uh, I've, I've learned how to use my phone as a camera. Plus, I got this uh, camera right here that's actually on my laptop, uh, my wife's laptop. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm learning how to use multiple cameras in different ways and just kind of using what I have and uh, building up um, my tools. Uh, it's not just my physical tools like cameras and, and you know, and mics, um, but uh, as well as my, my uh, mental tools and, and knowledge of how all this stuff works. And it was, it's been a fun experience trying to try to learn it all and, and make it happen. And, um, you know, something just as, as simple as, uh, as some stuff like this. Woo, look at that. You know, and, you know, stuff like that. Learning how, how all that stuff works and, and making different, uh, different scenes and cam different camera settings that I can quickly do with a push of a button. It's uh, it's been kind of fun. So uh, let's actually go back here. Yeah, that's where that's where we were. Uh, and so, and then also learning things like this that you know, hey, you know, sometimes using multiple cameras, you gotta learn how to how to position everything, and so that uh, you don't have wires sitting in the way. And maybe you know, just maybe I should do something like that. So that you know, I'm a little closer. Um, I'm a little closer. You can see me better. Uh, and then that pesky wire, still, you know, won't be in the. So yeah, uh, yeah. So we played, we played, we've been playing that Hogwarts uh, battle game. It's a card game. Uh, we pulled out earlier tonight. We play. I played with the kids. Um, a uh, an old game that's a family favorite is called uh, uh, Starving Artist. It's lots of uh, lots of artwork, um, teaching them appreciation of art, and making it fun um, by by turning it into a game. Um, and it's a simple game that, that the kids can play, um, even at a young age. Um, I've been playing uh, a game called Zombicide, uh, Green Horde. So it's kind of a zombie invasion, but in a, a uh, fantastical world with elves and dwarves and, and humans and, and dragons and such like that. And so that's a really fun game that, that is a favorite of my son Liam's and mine. And we've recently... Uh, uh, Caleb has been uh, recently become old enough to play um, and understand the the mechanics and the strategies of, of that game. So that's been real fun. Um, although I, I will say I, I am looking forward to the quarantine being done uh, because I do have a game group that uh, that uh, we play we play Gloomhaven together, and that is a, a kind of a campaign style um, board game. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back with my group and playing Gloomhaven again uh, with them. And that'll that'll be uh, that'll have to be you know once all of them are are comfortable with uh, with coming out of this quarantine. Um, in fact, one of them one of them uh, just recently had a new new baby, so he has got to be conscientious of uh, what he brings home. So. Uh, Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It is very nice. It is very nice to be able to see them uh, do learn new things and, and uh, see the growth that they they go through. Um, not just uh, not just physically, but mentally, um, you know, emotionally. Uh, how they interact with uh, with each other and with friends and other people. Um, it's very fun to see them, see them see my kids grow up. Uh, but let's see. Down just a little bit. There we go. 
uh, yeah, so uh, been playing playing more games. I've been uh, reading more uh, now that I'm done with school. Uh, as you can see, like the one I'm doing right here, uh, painting, um, and uh, trying to figure out this uh, Twitch and, and YouTube thing, uh, especially the live streaming part. You know, it's uh, it's it's easy to to put together a YouTube video. Um, well, I mean, it's it's got its difficulties. There's a lot of a lot of uh, hurdles to figure out as far as editing and such, um, but. Uh, yeah, there's 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 lots to learn and it's it's a different beast to tackle with this live stream versus versus doing uh, a edited YouTube video so uh, it's lots of fun I, I'm enjoying both of it joining all of it all, all this time um, as well as I've been having time to work on projects around the house uh, that have that have uh, piled up since since uh, since I've been in the school, yeah, yeah, you know one one of the funniest ones uh, as far as uh, learning, uh, seeing a baby uh, learn and figure something out, and when it's, when it's something clicks, the, the the I always think it's the funniest one is, you know, they always put you know learn to put their hands in their mouth their fingers in their mouth and to touch things but for some reason when they first look at their hand and then they realize that those fingers are their fingers and understanding that it's just it is it's not just you know that i can pick things up but then the, it clicks that those fingers are their fingers and that's that's always a fun one to uh to see <laughs> it's it's i always get a kick out of that one um But uh, yeah. So uh, let's. All right. Let's uh. See what we what we got here. I wonder if this is drying a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna do try to do something a little funky here. I don't know. I don't know if this will work. But let's see if we can. See if I can get this magnifying glass closer. Um, let's see. Hold on a second. It may go dark here for a second. I, I might need to unplug my light and plug it back into an extension cord. But I'm going to see if I can get this this uh, light and magnifying glass closer to uh, to my camera. Oh, no, no, actually, I may not have to unplug it. This may not work, but if it does, that'll be really awesome. All right. So let's, uh, fix this up. Hey, hold on a sec. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. There we go. Tell you this, this will, uh, as I get further on in this, spend more money. It, it, I do look forward to the day where I have a uh, a fancy camera with a dedicated zoom. You know, I could have like a little side table or something like that where I could. Um, I could put, uh, you know, I could have like just that camera for, for the zoomed in 
for being able to do something like this. What do we think so far? Isn't that looking cool? So, you know, it's it's definitely I've definitely seen better. I've definitely seen worse. But uh I'm really, really happy with the how this is looking uh, so far. You know, of course, my my very first. You know, this look look. That's that's what we were talking about. I think you you had mentioned that earlier, Nika. The, the uh, uh, just the the tones. You know, that's what that wash did. It brought brought out some of that. Uh, you know, like the the scales, the edge of the scales, and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, so is, is is my oh 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 sorry. So my mic is not working. Oh, I forgot to put my mic back in. Where is my mic? Okay, sorry. Yes, you're right. I did forget to put my mic in. Everybody wants it. They do want to hear that. So thank you, thank you, uh, Nika, for pointing that out. Um, you know, and I think I might. Um, I might hit this with another layer, another layer of that wash. I can see a few places that could that could use it. So, but yeah, this is a this has been um, a total blast trying to figure out. I think some of this I've learned kind of blotting. A good way to do some of this wash because you don't really want to spread it around like paint. You want it to kind of get it on there thick and then let it kind of let us do its own thing as far as um, you know draining into the certain little recesses and things like that. Kind of like that. It darkened. It, that's that second layer of wash certainly darkened up the breastplate. Uh, but actually, actually, I think that's okay. I think it's okay on this. Um, I can I can definitely go back uh, over it with a uh, some dry brushing and hit the kind of like the tips and the ridges of of these breastplates and stuff like that to kind of uh, lighten up you know the contrasts. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy how, how that's coming out. I'm, I'm really happy how how the um, this rig this the spines and I, I I'm really glad I did that. I I'm really happy how that came out. Um, so what I ended up doing uh, with this was so originally started off all red and. When I decided that I wanted to change the underside, I, I painted this underside with some uh, with some skeletal bone uh, color, and then what I ended up doing is I ended up actually dry brushing that skeletal bone on this on these uh, this uh, ridge main, I guess is what you would call it, and uh, I kind of had that nice little uh, bleeding effect and. You know, it's completely accidental because I'm, I'm completely new at this. I'm just trying trying new things. And then I went back and hit each one of these little spikes um, on this mane. And I, I love how it turned out. It turned out great. I love this. I love this. I need to make sure to try to get some good uh, good pictures of it, though. 
um, put it up on like Facebook or something. Um, because yeah, this this camera, I, mean, I know at least I think it's not so much the camera, I think it's this light. This light is not doing doing this justice. So yeah, really coming together. I'm, lo I'm loving. Loving how this is looking. So, and then you know, I think you can kind of see a little better what I was saying on. Um, I don't like how that looks right there. It's uh, pulled up a little too much. I'm not like super thrilled with the inside of the wings. Um, I don't think it looks bad. It doesn't look bad from a distance, you know, from tabletop distance. I think it looks fine. But if you're looking up close, uh, so I may try to hit that, you know, here and there over time. Try to, is especially as my painting improves. Um, but this, I mean, this I would call, I would call this tabletop. Right? Ooh, man. Ooh, yeah. Not the washes dried on that on the back of the wings. Oh, that that looks awesome. That looks awesome. I like I, I like this hobby. This is a great hobby. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this. Oh man, yeah. So this is uh, yeah. I mean, we would I would call that I would call that table ready. Um, I would definitely call that table ready. But uh, yeah, you know, and there's, there, I imagine, I, I think I'd like to do do some more with it over time. Um, but it's definitely, uh, definitely, would be sufficient to go on on the table as it is. And um, yeah, just some base coats. I mean, that's really all you need: some base coats, some uh, kind of get get a little bit of detail. Be a little careful around some of these some of these edges, you know, to kind of make sure that you got some nice sharp contrast of colors and some wash. And you know, that puppy's ready. I'm gonna let that dry a little more. And uh, I think before I end tonight, I, I am going to um, retouch some of these um, finer points, like the teeth. You know, I think I want those teeth to really pop. Um, And I need to make sure I do the eyes. I wonder what color I should do the eyes. Should, should I just do straight up, you know, just a nice little white speck? Or should I try to get a little bit of color in there as well? Maybe uh, maybe some white eyes with, uh, with uh, like a red pupil or something. Oh, oh, Anika, don't, don't sell yourself short. I, uh, I bet you... That if we got you one and, and and especially you had like a little tutorial or something that you could follow, I bet you could make make this look make a dragon look amazing. So don't sell yourself short. Like I said, this is my first one, so uh, you know it's really it really isn't that hard. It it it's uh, you know it's a matter of just you know slapping on some paint in in, in essence. <laughs> um, I mean it's it's a little more than that, but you know. Uh, it really wasn't that difficult. I bet you, and especially, you know, when, when you have uh, tools such as washes, which was that last step that I did that really kind of made some of those details pop out. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it is very nice when you have an awesome brother who can show you these things. I mean, it sounds like you have an amazing brother, you know, if he's, if he's you know, going to show you stuff like that. I mean, it's just a really super amazing you know almost saintly brother you know really yeah so uh <laughs> um but yeah uh well you know i wonder i wonder how long i've been, been going 
on here. Oh, man, it's been a two-hour session, which I know for some people is nothing. But um, <laughs> No, thank you. Thank you, Anika. You're pretty good yourself. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, let that dry a little bit. I think, yeah, I'm going to touch up uh, some of these some of these tips, finger, you know, the fingers and such like that. May, oh, maybe I'll leave the fingers as is, kind of, because, you know, that's what he walks on. So it may be good to have kind of like a, a dirty, dirty look to those. But, uh, you know, some uh, a creature as noble as a dragon, I would say, probably uh, would try to keep his, his teeth, his teeth fresh and clean. Maybe maybe the, uh, the 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 spikes around his his jowl and stuff like that uh, will will freshen those up with a with a fresh coat of color and just really make them pop out. Um, we'll give this give this a little little bit more time, just a little bit more time to dry. So let's see. Wonder. Curious who who else? Oh yes, yes, definitely filled with Nico. But well, you know what? Actually, you know what? I think I think this has been a good night. I think uh, we're going to leave it at this, and. Uh, we'll pick up some more painting tomorrow. Um, I, I, I need something to do tomorrow night as well. So, uh, we'll leave it this, uh, how about, let's, let's try, let's try something new here. Um, I'm going to try to raid somebody. I've not, uh, I've not raided before. So, um, let's, uh, I know we just have, we don't have very many viewers. That's okay. So we're gonna let's uh, let's raid. We're gonna raid the saving throw show. So um, guys, uh, I appreciate you all. Um, appreciate you all joining. Uh, it's been fun uh, learning how to paint. And uh, for those that had any questions or had any encouragements, I, I appreciate you joining me here tonight. And it's been been a blast just chatting with you. And hanging out while I uh, slap some paint on this dragon. Um, so uh, enjoy. You all have a good night. Uh, please, uh, you know, hang out just for a few more minutes as we raid a saving throw show, and then after that, uh, you know, go on your way. But uh, it'll be fun to uh, to to go raid somebody. So uh, you all have a good night, and game on, my friends. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we got a 10 second delay. So I, 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 you know what? I, I said that a little too early. So wait a minute, wait, here we go, here we go. Game on, my friends.